heard of the International Space Station? Let's find out what it is and what its purpose is. The International Space Station is the biggest manned object ever flown in space. The ISS, as it is known, is slightly larger than a full-size soccer field. It travels around the Earth at an average speed of 27,700 kilometres per hour, completing 16 orbits per day. At night, it can easily be seen from Earth as it flies 320 kilometres above us. The International Space Station was designed and built with the collaboration of 100,000 people, 16 nations and hundreds of companies. It was started in 1998. The ISS has been built in stages. The International Space Station serves as a research facility. The largest part of the ISS is a central truss to which 16 huge solar panels are attached. It is being powered by solar energy. This energy is necessary to power the six laboratories and all the living things on board. The modules where the astronauts live and work are attached to the centre of the truss. Astronauts need constant supply sent to them from Earth. At present, astronauts cannot grow their own food in orbit. They rely on fresh supplies arriving every few months. Until recently, all the food, water, air and spare parts the crews need were brought by the US shuttle and Russian unmanned progress ships three to four times a year. This changed in 2008 when a new European supply ship called an Automated Transfer Vehicle ATV was launched to the International Space Station. ATVs can carry up to 8 tonnes of cargo in space, roughly three times as much as the Progress ships, and they are launched every 12 to 18 months. The ISS is manned by six full-time crew members at any one time. NASA's research goals for the space station are focused on the following four areas, human health and exploration, technology testing for enabling future exploration, research in basic life and physical sciences, and earth and space science. Europe's biggest ISS project is the Columbus Science Laboratory, where astronauts can carry out scientific experiments in weightless conditions. Many different types of experiments can take place both inside and outside this space laboratory. The research conducted at the International Space Station will help us better understand Earth. For the first time, we are able to observe Earth from different angles over long periods of time. The space station allows scientists to watch large-scale changes in the environment to better understand our own planet. Scientists are studying how different fluids, metals and other materials respond in space without the effect of gravity. These studies could help them better understand viruses, proteins and enzymes. Hopefully these studies will one day lead to possible new treatments for many diseases and conditions including cancer, diabetes and AIDS. In addition, the space station will allow scientists to understand the effects of space travel on the human body and study solutions for long-term space travel. The space station is a unique environment in which to create and study new materials. The microgravity conditions which allow scientists to study physics, combustion science, fluid flow and crystal growth in a completely new way. Scientists hope that these experiments will lead to new industrial products that can be used back on Earth, from lighter, stronger metals to new materials for contact lenses. Scientists have developed new technologies for the space station that they believe will someday help humans back on Earth. One example is Robonaut, a robot that will perform tasks on the station's exterior. Robonaut has a robotic hand operated by virtual reality, an innovation with great potential for amputees on Earth. But this is only the beginning. Technology with potential for the future also will include computer software, lower cost and energy efficient heating and cooling systems, air and water purification systems and advances in communications. 
16 countries are spending billions of dollars many years and risking the dangers of space to build the space station because they believe the benefits of the station will ultimately outweigh the enormous costs.